Ugh. I can smell some shit. I really can smell some shit. Oh, it's the worst movies of 2016. That's what I can smell. Oh my God. What a stinker. Bah, stinky pile. Now these are the shit bombs, the piss flaps, the absolute turds of the year. And I don't really want to do this. I don't want to spend long on this video because I don't even, ugh, I don't even want to talk about these shit flaps. Oh God. Um, there, there has been some stinkers this year. Um, now, in my last video, I um, my best of 2016, I did some honourable mentions. But in this video, they're going to be dishonourable mentions. Now, first up, there is Allegiant of the Divergent series. Um, my God, this film was so bad that they're now deciding to carry on this series as a, TV, a set of TV movies. That's how shit they are. Um, Mike and Dave need wedding dates and Dirty Grandpa. My God, De Niro, what are you doing in shit films like this? Oh, look, also two Zac Efron films. Um, so, yes, you know, they nearly made my list, but they weren't quite as bad as the shit piles that I've got now coming up. So, without further ado, these are the worst movies of 2016. Number 10. Ride Along 2 is a sequel that really did not need to be made. It's a comedy that's about as funny as getting um, needles stuck up your penis. That's how um, funny this is. I, I really do wish this franchise would just ride along and die. Number 9. The Fifth Wave is in ninth place. Now, I could have had Allegiant in this spot. You know, Fifth Wave Allegiant, they are pretty similar films. They're both like based on young adult books or whatever that's supposed to fucking mean. Um, but with Allegiant, at least I can remember some things about that film. The Fifth Wave, which I, I can remember that it starred Chloe Moretz or whatever you call her from Kick-Ass. But apart from that, I can't remember anything about it at all. I think I did see it. I'm pretty sure I did and I, I didn't like it, but I can't. I, I must have just watched it. With like glazed eyes, just like in a daze or something, just like, uh, what's going on? Like that, because I cannot remember anything about this movie at all. That's how bad it is. There's nothing rememberable about this shit bomb. Number eight Ghostbusters 2016. There's nothing more I can actually say about this film. You know, I, I um, had a quite a good rant in my review for this film. I gave it an F. That's how bad it is. It's about, you know, this is, it's a waste of talent. You know, there's, there, there is actually some good people in this film and it's a complete waste. I found it about as funny as getting my head, you know, smashed into a toilet while there was like floating turds in it. Um, yeah, that's how much fun I had with this movie. Number seven. Ben Hur. What the fuck were they thinking when they decided to remake this film? My God, this is a travesty. Um, it started off okay, and then um, Morgan Freeman appeared with his um, ridiculous dreadlocks, and it just went downhill from there. Um, it's on for about half the time of the um, Charlton Eston version, but it feels like it's on twice as long. That's how, you know, that's how hard it is to get through this film. It is awful. Number six. Mother's Day. My God, these fucking films need to die. This is like a series of non-connected films, you know, Valentine's Day, New Year's Eve, Mother's Day, all directed by... Um, the uh, the late Gary Marshall, so, you know, not to sound nasty, but now that he's died, hopefully these films will actually stop being made, but they probably won't because they're cheap and people, for some reason, go to see them, even though they're a piece of shit. Um, Julia Roberts is in the film, and I, I, I think she just turned up on set and said, um, where's my paycheck? I want my paycheck because um, that's all she turned up for. Um, yeah, you know, another terrible movie. Number 
Gods of Egypt. <laughs> now, this is one dumb fucking movie. Now, I'm sorry, viewers, for swearing, but I don't give a fuck. This is terrible. <laughs> Got some terrible acting. I oh, by Gerard Butler. Um, he's had a fantastic year, by the way. He needs to uh, fire his agent. Um, yes, yeah, so, you know, complete whitewashing. It's like, it's like one of those. He, he thinks it's epic, you know, using like you know Egyptian mythology and Greek mythology, you know, them sort of epic films, swords and sandal. But it's terrible. The um, the CGI effects are ridiculous. They're they're, they're so bad, you know. It's you know, um, what a terrible film. It's like, you know. There's Gerard Butler's terrible in this. It's it's just really really bad. I oh god, it's awful. Gods of Egypt. Do not watch it. Number four. Now this is the only film on the list that actually pisses me off. I am actually angry about this. Independence Day Resurgence. I was actually looking forward to this film. I was kind of excited. The trailers made it look pretty decent. Like there was going to be some stuff in it. But my god. It's so boring and so dumb. Um, the characters that they bring back, the actors, you know, Jeff Goldblum, Bill Pullman, are completely wasted. You know, it's like they didn't know what to do with the characters, you know. Um, the new characters that they bring in, my God, they're awful. It's like, you know, when you watched um, Saved by the Bell, the new class, and you just didn't care about anyone. It was terrible. Um, yeah, uh, it's just really dumb. And then they've got the cheek. To, you know, give you an ending where it's setting you up for a sequel for a third film. It's like, fuck off. I'm not going to watch this. I'd rather watch, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'd rather watch, but I'd rather watch that. Um, yeah, I'd rather I'd rather look at some turds floating in my toilet than watch this film, you know, and watch a third one. Oh, my God, this really pissed me off. This is the most angry you will see me in this video. I know I don't look that angry, because, but, deep, but, but inside I am... Um, this film seriously lacked any charisma. It seriously missed Will Smith, and he made a good choice missing out on this movie. Number three. Nine Lives. How do films like this get made? You know, is it actually, like, movie executives all sat round the table, you know, like in a ballroom, and they go, I know what will make a good film. Well, um... We'll, we'll do a story about an eye-powered businessman who gets turned into a cat. Yeah, that that sounds good. People will come and see that because you know audiences are dumb. They'll 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 lap that up. I know we'll get um Kevin Spacey and Christopher Walken to star in it as well. What the? How did that happen? What the hell? My God. Um. Yeah, Kevin Spacey plays a guy that gets turned into a cat. That's all you need to know about this film. Number two. Actually, I tell a lie. This movie pissed me off as well. London has fallen. You know, I was I was kind of looking forward to it. The trailers made it look half decent. You know, um, I really enjoyed Olympus has fallen. But all the way through this movie, it just kept pissing me off even more and more. The ridiculousness of everything. It was just so dumb. The ridiculousness of how these terrorists infiltrated, you know, both MI5 and the Metropolitan Police. Um, oh, and the um, Queen's Guard, you know, it was just, it was, everything were, were ridiculous. Nothing made sense. All the world leaders spread about the city just so they could, you know, blow up different landmarks. It made no sense at all. All the world leaders, apart from um, the... US president, who obviously was awesome, he was, you know, like an action hero. All the other world leaders were, like, dumb caricatures of, you know. Um, and also, it's another movie that stars Gerard Butler on this list. So, like I said earlier, he has had a fantastic year. His um, agent has done a grand job. You know, his agent is brilliant. Let's hope it's not Harry Gold. He, he was actually good in Entourage. Like, it can't be him. But, yeah, you know, what a, what a, what a job he's done, his agent. Um, yeah, don't see London Has Fallen. They've already announced a third movie, which is annoying because you get good films like The Nice Guys, which don't seem to be getting any sequels, which deserve a sequel. And then you get, um, you know, shit piles like this. Fucking giant 
tur floating turds that um, get sequels. And I think that's called Angel Has Fallen or something. And it's going to be like, sit on Air Force One, which is... That film's already been made, you know, the one with Addison Ford and Gary Oldman. I can't, uh, I can't actually remember what that's called now. But yeah, this film pissed me off. Don't see it. Number one. Grimsby, or The Brothers Grimsby, as it's known in the US, is quite possibly the worst film I have ever seen. It's completely ridiculous. Um, it's... I had a, a, towards the start, I had a couple of laughs, but it's it's just, I was sat there through most of it, like, thinking, what the fuck's going on? Um, Sasha Baron Cohen's not funny at all. Uh, Mark Strong's all right. There's a good scene where it's all from his point of view, because he's a, a, he's a spy and he's, there's a good action scene, kind of like the how the hardcore Henry film was. But from then onwards, it's just ridiculous and it just goes downhill. It, you know, it's just a terrible movie. I mean, for starters, there's a scene halfway through the film where Sasha Baron Cohen and Mark Strong, they go to Africa somewhere and they get, I think they get caught by the bad guys. I can't actually remember, but to escape the bad guys, they hide in an elephant's vagina, which is... Um, a good hiding place and obviously this elephant is in season so a male elephant comes along to mate with that elephant so then while that's happening you're there seeing um Sasha, Sasha Baron Cohen and Mark Strong something I never thought I'd ever see getting hit by a giant elephant dick in the face and everything and um yeah like something I never thought I'd ever see ever is Mark Strong getting covered with elephant jizz it's like I was watching it thinking what the fuck's going on here? This is ridiculous. This is completely ridiculous, and it's not even funny. I wouldn't mind if it was actually funny, but it's not. And not only that, you know, Sasha Baron Cohen is, you know, is a is a is a middle class southerner, and you know, Grimsby. It's you know, it's it's in it's in the north. All right, it's I'm based in Leeds, and it's it's in the south for me. It's you know, it's but to to Sasha Baron Cohen, you know. The uh, middle class Londoner. It's Grimsby's in the north, and it, it it all the way through the film is just taking the piss out of working class Northerners, all the way through, and it just completely pissed me off. And because of that, this is my worst movie of two thousand and sixteen. So guys, um, let me know what you think of my list. What were your worst movies of the year? Um, did any of them make my list? Did I miss any of that? Any of them out? To be honest, I didn't see a lot of bad movies. I, 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 the, the movies that I have mentioned are probably the only movies what I found bad. There, there were, you know, there were some like mediocre films that I saw this year, but they weren't bad enough to make this list. So, uh, yeah, guys, um, write in my comments. Let me know what you think of my list. Um, I hope we all have a great new year. Um, I hope I get more subscribers because I really need more subscribers. Um, I hope you guys had a great, you know, New Year's Eve and everything. Um, like and share my channel. Spread the word of the Heroic Dale channel. And remember guys, stay heroic.